In this clip, we'll use NURBS and curves to create a wire to go in our leg. So we have this piece here that we created. It's going to be sort of a white plastic, but I want to have kind of a wire coming down in here that is going to be metallic. So if we take a look at the reference, kind of this piece right in here. And I'll just have a kind of support wire coming in. And so to do that, and to do any sort of wires or cables and things like that, NURBS curves are going to be a great option. So let's draw out a curve. So I want to go to, let's go to the front view. And we're going to go to create. And let's come down to curve tools right here. And let's choose CV curve tool, the first one on the list. We'll click on that. That's going to give us a little crosshair. And what we want to do is just click in a path where we want this curve to go. And it doesn't have to be exact because we'll be able to go back and edit it later. But I'm going to start kind of right here uh, in the center. And I'm just going to start clicking some points. Now, because of the nature of this particular type of curve, your actual curve is not going to show up until your fourth point. So you want to do at least four points, but then you want to just continue it down and I'll end it in the top of the, the leg there. And I'll just hit enter. Now it's not shaped exactly the way that we want. So we can go ahead and access the components by right clicking, just like we would with anything else. Choose control vertex and we can grab these points and move these over. Now you'll see that the points themselves don't lie on the surface of the curve but they are helping to define where that curve is. So it's based on kind of a mathematical formula of tangency between these points to determine how that curve behaves and how it looks. So we can move these points around. And I don't want it to match exactly because I want there to be a, make sure that it's clearly a different piece here. Now we're moving it from this axis, but it's not in the right position. So we need to take the entire curve, so we'll go to object mode. And right now, we take a look at this. It is about halfway, so we're going to move it up towards the front so it's in the right spot. You can see here, it's in the right spot, or at least a little bit closer. We can now come in and start to manipulate these points from this angle. So we could either go from, we could do it in perspective like this, or we could go from the other angle the side view to shape this. So again, we want our bottom to intersect right there. And then we just want our wire to kind of do something like that. I don't want it to follow along exactly with the plastic, but it should be roughly that same area. Okay, so something like that. Now we need to create some geometry to go along this because as a curve itself, it's not going to render. There isn't anything that we can see in the render. We can see it in the viewport because we're working with it, but it really is for the construction of other things. And so to create the actual geometry, we need to create another curve. This curve is going to be a primitive. Now think about the, the shape of the wire. It's going to be basically a cylindrical shape. So let's grab a NURBS primitive and let's get a circle. Now our circle is already selected. It came in at the origin. You can see it there. So what I want to do next is hold down shift and select the curve that we just drew. So we have the circle selected. We shift selected the curve and now we're going to create our geometry. Now what we want to do is pull the circle along this curve. So we want to create a piece of geometry along this path. So to do that, we're going to go to Surfaces, and let's open up Extrude. Now this says Extrude. It's a different kind of Extrude just because we're working with NURBS. So we used Extrude a lot with polygons. This is going to be slightly different with a similar effect. So reset this and make sure that everything is at default. For this to work, we want our geometry to appear at this path. Okay, this is called the path. And so we want to change some of these things. The result position, we don't want to be at the profile, which is the circle. We want it to be at the path, so we'll click that radio button. And then I also, on the pivot, I want to change the pivot to component, so when it's turning, it looks a little bit better. Let's go ahead and extrude. So it actually worked, okay? It worked perfectly. The thing is, our circle is a little bit too big right now. 
Okay, that is what's defining the size of this extrude. So because of that, all we have to do is select the circle once again. So I can come in here and select the circle. And because we have a history connection between the circle and the path into this piece of new piece of geometry, all we have to do is go down to our extrude node. I'm sorry, our make NERM circle node, because we're changing the size of the circle. And we can change the radius. So as we dial that radius down, you can see that tube getting smaller and smaller. Let's set it to 0.1 and see how that looks. I think maybe even a little bit smaller than that. So maybe 0.05. I think that's pretty good. Now you will notice that right now the surface is black. So with NURBS, we have the same sort of thing that we have that we have with the normals, but it's fixed a little bit differently. So you can either take the geometry and reverse it. Sometimes you can reverse the curves. So we'll just take this geometry. And again, we're in modeling. So let's go to surfaces and all the way at the bottom. It might actually almost, I think it's cut off there. So let me try to pull it up. So you want to do reverse direction. And you can see it's not black anymore. Let's go ahead and delete our history on that. That'll remove the connection between the path curve and the profile curve, even though those curves are still there. And then again, we want to duplicate that. So Control D to duplicate, and we want to copy it in the Z direction. So we'll copy it and freeze the transformations. There we go. And a lot of times when you freeze the transformations, that reverse, uh, reverse surface thing is going to happen. So we'll just do that again. So now that we have the main pieces of our leg, we can start to assemble those and group them, copy them over to the other side. So in the next clip, we'll take a look at how we can start to break this down in our outliner and make it a clean group before we duplicate it over. So let's do that next.